Oh, great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things you need on digikey.com every single week. Lady Ada, what's a great search this week? Okay. This week, um, I saw this person. Um, they have a GPU board and they have some damaged connectors. And they're like, I need to find this six pin terminal, this power connector. Looks like something kind of went wrong with their power connection, but that's okay. Uh, let's take a closer look at this. And then somebody's like, DigiKey probably has it, but it's hard to search it. Well, we're going to find it for you. So um, let's open this up in a new tab so we can really zoom. Whoa, let's zoom in. Too, too much zoom. Enhance. So this is, so this is interesting because, you know, last week we showed how to search for a connector that we had on hand. And we use calipers to measure like the pitch and the sizing and everything. This time we're going to do um, a connector, a power connector match, but we're going to do it by photo. Uh, so the one thing we notice is that this is two by three and uh, it's a right angle connector. And you see that there's like these little notches here, but like not on this one. Like this is this is a keyed connector. Not only is there like a notch here, but there is um, like these, you know, um, sorry, there's a key here, but there's notches on the on the contacts themselves. But these are pins. And one thing, we don't know what the, the pitch is. However, this looks like, you know, 0.1 inch. So this is like 0 0.16, 0 0.2, um, like 3.5 millimeter. It's not 0.1. It's bigger than 0.1. I can tell you that. It's not like 0.3. It's somewhere in between. So we don't know that. But I think based on, on this, we can um, figure out what the connector is. So... Let's go to DigiKey and let's search for, uh, it's not technically a pin header, but like it'll get us to the rectangular connectors zone. So we want a rectangular connector. And, you know, there's like similar stuff here. So we know we're kind of in the right zone. It's like this right angle connector. So let's do the things that we do know for sure. So one, we know there's two rows. And we know that there are um, six total positions, two by three. And uh, let's just go with active because we want to, you know, we want something that you can buy now that's compatible. All right, so it took us for a half a million down to at least nine nine thousand point search. Uh, and then positions loaded, you know. Um, I'm going to guess all of them, you know, I can't really see, but I'm going to guess that all positions are loaded. So I'm going to just select six dash and all to make sure that I get, you know, get all of them. Okay. And then, okay. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting close, but these are all straight connectors. We want right angles. So let's, let's look for that next. So, uh, Panel mount, no. Board straddle, no. Through hole, right angle. That's what we want. We want coming out the side. So let's apply. Now we're down to 1600. Okay, now we're, well, this is actually kind of, this is, looks pretty, pretty, this might actually be it. But let's, let's even get a little closer even. So next step, we want to get that pitch. So again, we don't know what the pitch is exactly, but it's more than 0.1 inch and it's less than like 0.3 so it's like it's like this it's between 1.1 and 2. maybe I'll, I'll say 2 as well something like that okay so let's let's apply this next we can do some things like you know we can do the insulation color um oops which is like clear or white or transparent, not beige or black or blue. So I'd say natural or white. Let's see if that helps. And then row spacing is also going to be not, it's not 0.1. It's definitely bigger than 0.1. Okay. So now we're down to like 60 options. So that's really good. We really, we really cut it down. Um, fastening type, I don't know ramp um ooh, glow wire what that is okay so let's look at our options okay so like i said some of these are like very very familiar so it looks like this is actually kind of a generic connector 
because it looks like this and this have that same you know what i'm looking for is that like square and then notched contact see it's like notched square 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 notched notched so it looks like there's actually a couple different options some of these have board locks which i can't you know see i'm going to assume that there's no board locking like the board lock is that um pin in the middle that plugs into the into the board i don't see that here so i can't guess on whether it has it or not um locking ramp contact shape yeah these say board lock and this one sorry which board lock i mean if you have board lock you know great but i don't i don't know that we do i'm going to say let's not get a board lock so no no extra features And then, you know, I think that these two are definitely going to, these look pretty good to me. So this TE connector, you know, it's got, it's got all the, the details looking correctly. It looks like there's a couple options as well. Maybe some nicer photos of it. But yeah, I think that this is, uh, this wire connector is probably it. it. Looks good up to 600, up to nine amps. So that's, you know, makes sense. It's a power connector. All right, cool. Well, I think that this is going to be my pick. So if you have a GPU board and you actually caught it on fire, uh, good news for about 60, 50 cents, 60 cents, you can uh, fix it yourself using a little solder uh, and maybe some uh, diagonal cutters. So check it out. This is my pick for the great search. Have a great search. Wait.